testing your functions by running them in the idle shell and then typing in the names of the functions over and over again gets to be a bit laborious after a while. Professional programmers automate their tests using something called unit testing. Unit testing not only lets themselves know that their functions are working well, it also lets others know that their functions have been well tested. So here's how to automate your program. I'm going to give you a recipe that you can use to automate the testing of each one of your functions. The code looks like this. First, you're going to import the module called unit test. This comes with the Python programming language. Next, you're going to create a class, and the name of the class doesn't really matter. I just call it my test. And within it, you're going to define two methods, one for each one of the functions that you are testing. Here, I've defined two methods. One is called test underscore cube. The name doesn't really matter, but it does need to begin with test. And then inside of there, I have these assert equal statements. And what I'm saying here is I assert that when I run cube of 5, it will be equal to 125. And when I run cube of 10, it will be equal to 1,000. And cube of 0 is 0. For the try area test, I assert that if I do try area of 10 and 10, it will come out to be 50. If I do 0 and 0, it will be equal to 0. And if I do 5 and 10, it will be equal to 25. At the bottom, just write unit test.main, parentheses, parentheses, and that'll kick off the test when your program runs. Let's try it out. So run, run module, we'll save it. And we get a little report from the unit testing that says it ran two tests that corresponds to our two methods, test cube and test try area, and it says that both ran okay. Let's see what happens if we put an error into our functions to cause the test to fail. Maybe we forgot to divide by 2 when doing our try area. Let's run it. And here we get a failure. It says that it ran two tests, but one of them failed, and that was on line 16 in test try area. It says that the assertion for try area of 10 and 10 of being equal to 50 failed. It says here that the 100 that came back is not equal to the 50 that we expected. So this tells us that there's something wrong with either the test or with our code. In this case, it is the code. If we go in and fix that and then run the module again, we'll see that the test ran OK. It's at this point that we should talk about commenting your code. Python functions are commented by putting in three double quotation marks and then writing a brief sentence about that function. For cube of n, we'll say return the cube of n. And for try area, we'll say return the area of a triangle of base and height. Now, let's run our module and see what happens here. So it's going to run the tests. But then if I say cube of n, notice that it pops up with a helper here that says we're going to be passing in an n parameter, and it tells us that sentence that we wrote, return the cube of n. So that comment that we wrote shows up in the pop-up hints when we are in our idle shell. Let's write another function. This one is going to be called even odd. And it's going to be given a number, let's say i, and I want it to return the word even if the number is even, and odd if the number is odd. But before we write the body of the function, let's go ahead and write the tests for it. Here are the tests that I wrote. The three tests are to assert that if I call even odd with 5, I should get odd back. If I call it with negative 4, I should get even back. And if I call it with 0, I should also get even back. Now I'm ready to write the function itself. So that is, if i remainder 2 is equal to 0, return even. Else, return odd. Let's run our tests and see if they worked. And look at that. Ran three tests, and they all passed. When you write additional functions in your file, just go ahead and write the function up towards the top, and then add a new test in the testing class. You only need to write one testing class for your entire file, and then one method per function that you are testing.